How many times have you faced this window at an inopportune moment? Say you're doing a Zoom meeting and demoing something about VMware vSphere 7. So today I'm going to show you how to lengthen or even disable entirely the VMware vSphere 7 vSphere client timeout. So there we go. How many times have you fat fingered <laughs> like that in front of a customer and then botched? new password, embarrassing yourself, only to find out that you missed an I in there, right? How many times have you seen all those common typos that people do? It's just embarrassing when you're nervous in front of people. So let's avoid all that without resorting to a password manager saving it. Let me explain. When we hit login, our browser might offer to save it. That's not so awesome either because uh, it's pretty easy to get to that password. So let's just not do that and say no. And let, again, the assumption is we want to leave ourselves logged in and looking like this. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to start up SSH. So Mac or PC, start up SSH without your whatever your favorite SSH client is. And your VCSA appliance probably has SSH running. If it doesn't, there's an easy way to do that on the access tab of AMI. If you don't know what AMI is, I'm about to show you. So don't worry about it. All right. So we're at a command line now. Cool. And we need to open up the shell because that's not the default in VCSA appliance. All right. And this is where my article will come in handy. We now have cut and paste ease of just putting commands in there like this one. That's going to make a copy of the web client properties file. We're about to edit. Okay. Next one, it's going to open up the editor of the web client properties file. Now in VI, the next thing I do after opening it is hit I for insert mode. And there you see the word insert. Move the cursor on down and go over to line 16. You can see line 16 right there. And make it zero length. That means never timeout in this case. Okay, now hit escape on the keyboard. Hit colon WQ for right quit. And that's it. How do you know the change you just made? The file touch you just did. How do you know that took effect? Well, how about we just paste this command in? That's right, our good friend grep. Maybe you're not familiar with it. It's just looking for session timeout in that text file. It's showing me the one line that I care about. Session.timeout equals zero. Beautiful. Showing the line before and then the line I changed. So who doesn't like that? But there's more. Once you make a change like this, the VAMI interface needs to know about it. So how are we going to do that? VAMI, the VCSA appliance needs to know about it. So VAMI is going to be our interface to do that. So we can kind of save ourselves a little labor here, paste that in, 5480. That's what VAMI is. When you log in on that interface with root, we've got this handy services tab. Go down to vSphere client. And if we want, we can zoom out a little bit so you can see it restart. <laughs> All right, hit restart. And now we wait a little bit. So twiddle your thumbs. This is an M.2 NVMe SSD, quite fast. 12 core system. Still, it takes 10 or 15 seconds for this UI to come back. But if you try to log right back in right away, you may get some errors. You might want to wait a few more seconds, I would advise. Now what this is going to do, log in. It's going to log off any existing user session. So anyone has a vSphere client, and if you're in your lab, it should be just you. But if anyone has a vSphere client opened, they're now bumped off. They're logged off. OK, so I want to point that out. You don't really want to do this when someone's actively doing something on the vSphere cluster. OK, so this is healthy. That's a good sign. We're really done with the VAMI interface. And if we want, we can go ahead and log out of VAMI and close that tab. Notice what this says exactly what we expected it to say. It's logged off, just like I warned you would happen, right? All right, so now click OK. I stalled a little bit talking because I know if I do it too quickly, you get a weird error. Okay, no errors this time. Redirected to login page. Interesting. Did not actually get challenged for a password right there. So we're good with this session, and this session should just stay put. Now, if you have another browser, you can go ahead and log in at this point. So you leave a Firefox and Chrome overnight and see how it goes or for an hour. Or once you get past two hours, you know you're good with the change we just made. Oh yeah, you're done. So you can close putty if you want, or if you feel better doing it like this, you can type exit twice. Hopefully you found this video helpful. 
Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting tinkertry.com forward slash vSphere 7 for all my vSphere 7 related articles and a whole lot more to come as well as tinkertry.com forward slash vSphere 7 videos. Thank you again for watching. Bye now.